What if we it, just died? What if we got the dead ending just now? Hello? Nothing is happening. Like you're, you can't be selfless in the first okay. choice or you will die. You die. I was somewhere different now. Somewhere soft but cold. I pulled the thin blanket up to my chin, but I couldn't get warm. Oh, we're in bed? Girl, where'd you get a blanket? Where'd you get a blanket in hell? Wait. I opened my eyes and sat up in bed that was not mine. Oh! What the there fuck? There are beds in I? hell? There are beds in hell. Look at this. This does look like it's in hell. Or the Earth Kingdom. kind of medieval. The, I'm probably the wrong about that. The tapestry seems Earth Kingdom-y to me. Um, we get a desk. That's really nice. It's yeah, nice and I, mean, I don't even have a desk in my room now. Wow. This is a step up. <laughs> what the fuck? Where am I? I pushed the blankets away and jumped out of bed. I searched the room, but I was alone. It smelled like mildew and felt damp and chilly. It had been colder when I had left the bar, though. There was a fireplace, but it didn't provide any warmth. Just the sounds of popping and burning with the heavy smell of smoke. There were windows, but they had been carefully boarded up. I picked through the blankets. They were old and frayed. Nothing weird was in the bed, and I was wearing everything I had been wearing when I had started home. I had my keys and my phone. Oh boy, that's not going to work down here. It was in my pocket. There was no signal, and the battery was almost dead. Great. Girl, you should... The rule is you, you've got to take a phone charger with you everywhere. Like yeah, charge your phone at the those, club. Like, battery pack things. I opened the map app, only to have it refuse to load. I tried to make a call, but was only met with silence. Yeah, they don't have 5G in, in hell. <laughs> I glanced nervously at the door. Was it safe to venture out? Probably not, but I mean... Wa- I waking- think you just have to go. I think this is... Go. I think sometimes when things happen to you in real life, even though it's like real life, you have to go by video game rules. Mm-hmm. And double you gotta jump. try to walk out. You double jump your way out the door. Yeah, like if you press A, you do half um, A press, a half A press. If you do like you have no, first you do a full A press. You, you have full, to stand up on the desk first, right, right, right? right, right, right. And then you have to do an A press, and then if you do a half A press after that, then you will actually clip up through the ceiling, mm-hmm. and you'll get to skip a whole level of hell and go straight to like go the eighth circle, the part. and mm-hmm. you just won't have to deal with the ninth circle at all. Right. And once you get to the <laughs> Yeah, I can't carry the narrative on anymore. <laughs> it was good the way it was. Anyway, waking up in a strange, dirty, weird bedroom was... What had happened last night? You went home with somebody weird from the club, dude. <laughs> you went home with a weird grandma. You went home with, like, like Audrey 2. Like, <laughs> Audrey the second. Like, I didn't even know that Audrey visited the club, but here we are. I needed to think. Yeah. Last thing I remembered was going through the old path, cutting my damp hand. I looked down and saw that it had been carefully bandaged. Oh, oh, someone bandaged your hand? That's so kind of them. I'm thinking our first romance interest is about to pop up. I think so, too. I can't click anymore. Okay. I poked at it and slid the cloth to the side to see the cut. Nothing looked weird about it. Still hurt. So, I cut my hand, then heard a voice from an invisible thing and now i'm in a weird room all alone okay yeah this is fine <laughs> i like that she conveniently forgot the plant demon like she was like i cut my hand i, would block I, that out too, though. I can't say anything absolutely like she <laughs> like selective memory on this girl totally fine i shook my hands nervously and tried to think i didn't seem to be in any immediate danger all i needed to do was get the hell out of here maybe i just had way too much to drink and went home with, like, a bridge troll. I rolled my shoulders and decided to listen at the door. I took a small step, dreading to press my ear against what looked like swollen wet wood. Before I could, though, there was a small knock. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. <gasps> Politeness. I jumped back. I wonder if it's Tristan, since we got that that those points with Tristan earlier, or if it's just always the same person. I jumped back and considered getting back in bed, but it was too late. The door was opening. <laughs> Okay, that is not a love interest. <laughs> <laughs> when I, I like walk- this design. I love this design. I saw this one in the press kit too, and I'm just like obsessed with the arms. Like a fun feathery apple. Like a grandma. Person. Yeah. A feathery apple grandma. This is my grandma. When I walked through the door, I didn't know how to react. Don't laugh. Well, this I don't like either of these. Well, I guess you can laugh because she's not scary, and you thought the person was going to be scary. I guess. We got one plus wild. Oh, oh yes! 
couldn't stop an awkward laugh from escaping my throat. I stifled it as best I could, but it was just so absurd. Oh, I hope I didn't hurt her feelings. I mean, I think it's better than I screaming. I think it's better than screaming, yeah. Look at them nails, though. Woo! Also, I don't know about you, but, like, my, like, awkwardness response is always to laugh. Yeah. Whoever was in the costume appeared completely indifferent to my reaction and utterly annoyed at my presence. I, oh, no. that's not a costume. He, or was it she, was a very short, bird, human-looking creature. I am With Eris. an egg on its head. Oh. <gasps> no gender. Oh, nice! Iconic, me too. Okay, so was that person voiced? Yeah. Nice. He, no. They waited, but I couldn't manage to make myself speak. I know you can understand me. I know you can understand me. He's voiced, don't, you don't have to. I'm oh, sorry, I forgot if I, yeah. <laughs> I nodded. I trust. I didn't trust myself to speak. They sighed and set a package I hadn't noticed on the table. <gasps> package? Food. Food. Eat. <laughs> Are you clicking through after the talking? Yeah. <laughs> I frowned, but didn't move or say anything. They sighed again. I'm sure you'll last long. Maybe a few days. Rude. They turned and started to walk out the door, so I shouted to stop them. Wait! They turned, frowning again. Now you speak! I don't know where I am, or why you were wearing that costume. That seemed to make them bristle. They flexed, and the feathers on their head ruffled. Okay, their feathers are just I green. I take it back. You won't last a day. <laughs> Please, I... You struck a deal with Nyarbalta. Do you not remember? Okay, it's pronounced Nyarbalta. Nyarbalta? Nyarbalta. Okay. A what now? A deal. With Nyarbalta? Do you truly have no memory? For a moment, they actually looked a little concerned, but covered it quickly with a look of disdain. Aww. Please help me, Eris. Can we date Eris? Can we date Eris? <laughs> <laughs> Can I date my grandparent, Eris? They do not sound like a grandparent. I. They, they sound like a snob. They look like a grandparent. They look like a <laughs> librarian grandma. I remembered it if I focused. A voice in the woods. I was drunk, angry, and it had promised me revenge on my brother's killers. A deal. The voice in the woods? Sure. Okay, so I made a deal with a voice in the woods. Okay. That didn't explain the decrepit house and the cosplayer. Mm -hmm. So then why am I here? Where am I? Where is Nyarbald? <laughs> Ma'am. Nyarbalta. Nyarbal. Nyarbalta. Ni ni. There's some knights who say that. Eris sighed dramatically and covered their face. The old one... Yarbalta, the forgotten god of the swamps. Okay. <laughs> what have I been talking about again? We were getting off track. So, why am I here? And where am I here? You made a deal. You're here until that deal is completed. Interesting. What's What's my that end of mean? the deal? Here where? Uh, Eris sighed for a very long time. Mir. Yeah, they really did That's not even you show are. you the terms and conditions. They, yeah, like, like I didn't um, get to. I didn't get to. Like, I needed my lawyer to look over this before I Mir. signed it over. Sorry, I just talked through it. I talked through it too. I'm gonna try to. Imi I can read it and try to imitate the tone. Oh please, because I am dying not knowing what these voices sound like. The voice is a little bit deeper than what I can accomplish. Okay, I'll let you know that. Uh, they're like Mir. That's where you are. This place is called Mir. That's okay. The tone. Obviously, they sound different. Mirror. Close enough. <laughs> mir. Oh, there's a there's a, a roll after that. It's mir. Mir? No, no, it's it's much lighter than that. It's, it's not French. It's it's not mir. French. You're not ro you're rolling your R, not throwing mir. it back back in your throat. That is mir. what French is. You just throw it back. Just just flip the R. Just throw it back. Just, Sarah, I need you to flip mir. the R. What? I need you to flip the R. It's mir. 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 Well, it's just kind of one, not Mir. multiple. Mir. Mir. No. Mir. <laughs> Mir. Mir. We're literally just doing what the characters are doing. I hope you understand this. Mir. 
<laughs> Mir. I can't believe we're already we're already kidding characters and we just started playing it. All right, maybe it was a street name. It didn't matter. Why wouldn't they give me any straight answers? Okay, so I don't exactly have any money for a cab. How do I get back home? You don't. <laughs> what do you mean I don't? You can't leave. You made a deal. You're here until it's fulfilled. Oh, I, I don't think so. Fulfilled how? Where is this god? I want to speak to it. I like how we got a double Eleanor question Eleanor wants to speak to the fucking manager and she wants to speak <laughs> Eleanor, to now. where is your god? I want to speak to them. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Eris shook their head. Oh, humans. <laughs> Bye, Eris. Oh, they didn't leave. They opened the door and stepped out, and for a moment I thought they were just going to leave me with all these questions. But then they motioned for me to follow. <laughs> oh, boy. We entered a narrow, long hallway. At one end, there was a door, and at the other, and at the other, the hallway opened out to a larger room. This was where we seemed to be headed. Hey, there's some rubble. Yeah, it's <gasps> rubble. Is this the lady? <gasps> spider, 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 pink spider, pink spider. We entered the large room. It looked like a dining room, maybe. Along one wall, there was a doorway that was full of rubble. On another wall, there was a large fireplace where a table and chairs were set up. I don't care. I want to know about that giant spider. The walls were cracked with were cracked stones, similar to the hall in the bedroom. There were some cooking instruments by the fireplace, and more closed doors. No windows, How and a giant spider. I see all this stuff Here. before the giant spider. I will summon your Balta. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yawns. They started to leave through a small closed door, but before they vanished, I called out to them. I don't think- I do think it's a really nice costume, you know? Real fancy. <laughs> they huffed and shut the door without replying. I shrugged and looked around at the room. It was cluttered with stone debris and giant spiders. Damp, but clean of spiders. It was still kind of cold, <laughs> and I was glad I had this spider to keep me warm. If this place had heat, it had a spider. <laughs> I moved to sit at the table when I froze. A spider! <laughs> Girl, finally! There was a very large spider crawling across its surface. Yes, that spider was the size of, like, a Christmas ham. Like, it was giant. <laughs> I didn't take a long time to notice. It's also... Put it we outside. Put it outside, girl. Where is outside? Like, we don't even know where outside is. I know... Okay, I'm not gonna kill it. What do you want to do? I want to leave it alone. Okay, let's leave it alone. It's a giant. Look at it. It's covered in spikes. Even if I, I would be like, life, okay, babe, it's time to go outside. If I saw this spider, look at the spider. If I saw this spider in real life, I would be like, this is that spider's house now. I want to keep it real. If, if I, I'm, I'm not nice. If I saw the spider in real life, no, I'd listen. be like, oh, there's a fire right there. And I would immediately throw it in there. That's true. I didn't think about that. But I would be my, too okay, scared. Here's my spider rules, okay? Okay. So I'm not spider. a good person. Right. I started off with that. I'm, okay. I know. But the rule is... <laughs> <laughs> yes, you do know. <laughs> if it's in my house, like, it can be outside, it can be on the back porch, it can be wherever, but once it right. gets into my house, then it has broken the rules because this is my space, mm -hmm. and I am free to do as mm -hmm. I please. So, like, then sure. it becomes, like, um, mm -hmm. the law- Then it becomes a home invasion, mm -hmm. and I can kill the spider. Mm -hmm. Here are my spider rules. If it's bigger than an orange, it- legally owns my property and i have to vacate the premises within 30 days because <laughs> it's the tenant now <laughs> it's bigger than an orange so <laughs> i'm gonna leave it alone yeah no I'm, i'll smash that oh we got some tame oh no tame. that negated our wild oh well it did negate our wild if i left it alone it would probably leave me alone that's honestly kind of true. It's so big, look at it, it's huge. I paced around the room and looked for clues about the god and all this nonsense. Maybe it was just an eccentric rich person who thought they were a god, I Ooh, guess. Oh my god, I'm okay, sorry. I don't know why that scared me. What did her voice sound like? I turned at the voice and froze. It's okay, so- I guess is the best way to ex describe it. Okay. So this is, okay. This is something, this is something that I thought might come up. First of all, she wasn't that spider because the spider is still on the table. Well, maybe she was. We just heard the voice. True. But then I turned at the voice and froze and a girl, maybe slightly shorter than me, stood there. 
I hadn't heard her come in or get as close to me as she had. She was all dolled up like a Lolita in an anime. How strange. <laughs> but the spider, you can see the spider. It's still sitting on the table. Like, that's sep- a separate entity. Well, maybe, but it could... I don't know. I here's Here's what I have to say about this design. I love it head to toe, right? We've been over this. The colors, the hair, the face things, the eyes. Oh, and I, I fully love that she's just decked out in Lolita. The, the eyes, I love how much the eyes contrast this cute little look. Like those, the black yeah, I and think that's really good are character horrifying. But here's another thing. Um, and I don't know how to put this delicately. If she's, look at those nails. If she's the one of the love interests, Something's gonna have to be trimmed up because we can't have this. We, you know this, is, this is rated 16 plus. I don't think we can further this conversation. I am only saying it like this. We gotta trim the nails. That's all I gotta say. If you're the love interest, we gotta trim the nails. And that's everything. And I can't. I can literally tell you nothing. I can literally not continue this conversation in a way that is PG. We gotta trim the nails. That's all I have to say about the design. Uh, hello? Don't mind my darling little friend. <gasps> she likes to meet new people. Oh my gosh, she isn't a spider. So she's not a spy. I think she is a spy. I don't know how to explain it. I think she is a spider. I think she- Cause look at her face. Maybe she's just spider adjacent. Maybe she's just got a- Maybe she's- What if she was maybe like- Maybe she's got- She's like what, a fourth spider on her grandmother's side. One fourth spider on a grandma's shirt. That makes sense. I was thinking maybe like she's like a vampire and she just likes spiders. And also, whole... I really like like the lipstick she's got going on. The lipstick is awesome. I also like that she color coordinated her spider. Yeah, she just really went ham with it. Do you think which came first, the spider or her dress color? Do you think she like looked at the spider and went, "I think that's cute. I should dress up like that." I think she. Went, I think she copied the spider. Or because... do you think like the spider came afterward? You think spider you think was like attracted the spider? To her? You think she created the spider? I think that she put on this dress, and every pink and white spider the size of a Christmas ham within like a two mile radius was like something's up. I gotta head this direction. I don't know what I'm heading Which towards. Which came first? The She's spider like a pied or the piper. dress? She's a pied piper for giant pink and white spiders. Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm glad we got that settled. She sat her hand on the table, and the spider happily crawled up her arm and then vanished into her hair. Never mind, she cannot be a love interest. Never <laughs> mind. Never mind. Imagine you're lying in bed with your boo, right? You're lying in bed with your boo thing, and she's got spiders in her hair. I swallowed uneasily. People could be really weird about their pets. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, I like how, like, this is why we're crossing someone out. She... If she, what if she was Little Spoon and your face was in her hair? Oh, you Sarah, don't do that to me. A spider, I would end my life, and we would break up in that <laughs> order. <laughs> Worse, what if she was Big Spoon, and you just like you're always like, when's that spider gonna come out? And you're like, every breath of her, like on your shoulder, you're like, that's the spider. That's the spider. <laughs> that's the the spider. spider's crawling. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to be thinking about that all night, I think. Yeah, me too. I shouldn't have said all that. Okay. So you're the new worshipper? I'm Seta. Her name is Seta. 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 I think it's just Seta. Seta. You don't have to, you don't have to stress it like that. You can just it. What? Hasn't Eris explained everything to you? Really? They said I made a deal with some old god, but come on, none of this is real. Oh, it is real. The sooner you accept that, the better. It'll increase your chances of survival. Survive? The mirror is a dangerous place for humans. She stopped looking at me when she said that. She smiled at me. That is not a You're friendly smile. cute. Don't worry. I'm rooting for you. I didn't like that delivery. I I blinked, caught off guard. Cute? Dangerous? Me? Oh, I will destroy you. I really wanted to go home now. What are you talking about? Eris said I couldn't leave. You haven't looked outside yet, have you? Oh, you poor thing. You can try to leave, but you won't get far. I have not looked outside, mostly because I didn't kill your spider. No, that can't be right. I glanced at all the closed doors. That one. 
She pointed at one of the doors. It was starting to feel... I was starting to feel a bit dizzy. It felt like the room was starting to tilt. Maybe if I looked outside, I would know where I was. Even better, I could just leave and go home. These people were beyond weird. Like they were part of some extreme costume party or something. As I walked toward the door, Seta called out to me. Please be careful. We haven't had a new guest in such a long time. Seta, I need you to calm down. I ignored her and kept going. Oh, I'm outside. I didn't think it'd be that easy. I pushed, <laughs> I pushed open the large, heavy door and stepped out onto a set of stone steps. Um, I need you to know that, like, the, the music... I need you... Ah, okay. Let me just say, I like the music. I think it's very good. But like is also a strong term, and I need you to know that I hate the music because it scares me, and I'm a scaredy cat. When I was, yeah, when I was listening to it, like, on my computer, I was like, hmm, a little bit intense. <laughs> yeah, same with the voice acting. It really creeps me out, and I don't, I think, choosing to play this at, um... Very late? 11 o'clock my time was maybe not a great idea on my part. Well, oh well. The slippery steps caught me by surprise, and I stumbled down them, struggling not to fall. Oh, you just get really clumsy when you leave. That makes sense. Finally on firm ground, I looked around, and it was almost as if my lungs had deflated. I couldn't breathe. Okay, let's keep it real though. Like, girl is already doing pretty well because she doesn't have a hangover. That's a good point. Like, she's already an icon. Well, so we, if she yeah. just gets a little bit of clumsiness after being drunk, in being that level of drunk, mm -hmm. I, think, I think we can excuse her. The air was heavy and wet. The sky was a dirty green with no sun, moon, or stars in sight. The ground was hard, the stone of the steps had been damp. Behind me loomed a stone structure that I looked that looked capable of collapsing at any moment. I took a few steps away and tried to piece together what I was seeing. This wasn't home. I was nowhere near home. I wasn't even in the same country? Planet? See, this is when you say, okay, and you just keep walking <laughs> until you find something different. This couldn't be right. I couldn't stay here. No. There were no buildings, no roads, and nothing in the sky. The farther I looked, the less I could clearly make out. It was as if everything ended in a blur. You gotta turn up your uh, view distance. A low buzzing and scratching were the only sound. Uh, like, you just gotta, you just gotta turn up the, uh, uh, the graphics. Yeah, turn up the graphics. Setting. Turn up your view distance and half a. Go up to the. Go up to the arch. <laughs> Right here on the left side with this tree, you go up to the arch, you hit the wall, keep walking, uh, half A press, and you'll you'll skip right through this wall here and go in this window. Anyway, a this is what she just came out of, I think. Yes, I think so, but I'm saying she'll be able to get uh, behind the building if she <laughs> does a fun thing. I think she can also get behind the building this if way. These like if she just goes to the right yeah. and walks no, through all that's that mess. Too easy. We gotta take the path of most resistance. <laughs> A low buzzing and scratching were the only sounds I could hear. They were not like the hum of cicadas or chirps of birds I knew. It was as if the ground I stood on was contorting somewhere deep and groaning at the effort. There was a faint stench of rot and sulfur and it seemed to come from everywhere as if that was just the smell of the place. Yeah girl, that's just what hell smells that's like. Just the smell of the place, like don't worry about it. I didn't know what else to do, so I started walking. Oh. Iconic. That's literally what I told her to do. 